Oneida tribal members Frank Cornelius and Leah Dodge walked their latest hopes of dissolving the Oneida Seven Generations Corporation into tribe headquarters Tuesday. The petition's purpose is to ask the tribe to tell its business committee to dissolve OSGC. They said at the top spending money, and the business committee has allowed that. And this is what we're trying to stop. Cornelius says getting rid of the OSGC would save family ties, possible investigations by the federal government, and most importantly, money spent fighting a lawsuit against the city of Green Bay. Oneida Seven Generations Corporation told Fox 11 it has not seen the petition. In a statement, the company said it did receive a certified letter from Cornelius asking for a response by July 23rd. The letter is a copy of a budget for Oneida Enterprise Development Authority, not Oneida Seven Generations Corporation. Oneida Seven Generations Corporation says the two organizations are separate entities. The statement goes on to say the company can only assume that the petition submitted was based on information about Oneida Enterprise Development Authority and that Miss Leah Dodges and Mr. Frank Cornelius's public comments about Oneida Seven Generations are based on this incorrect information. In October, the city revoked the company's permit for a waste to energy plant near Herbert Street. Some members of the city council said they felt the public and the city were misled about the initial plans. The OSGC filed a lawsuit in response. The company then sought to build a plastics to energy plant on tribal land. A petition was filed earlier this year to stop it. The tribe voted to stop the project in May. Green Bay has their own business council, and they said no once. We're wasting our money. It's ruining the, our look of our own sovereignty when we go into court and lose. Tribal spokeswoman Bobby Webster wouldn't comment on the contents of the petition, but says the next step for the petition is for review, verification, and acceptance by the tribe offices. After the entire process is completed, then that petition will move forward to the business committee at one of their regularly scheduled meetings for action. The business committee meets on the second and fourth Wednesday of each month. Cornelius says what Oneida Seven Generations Corporation was tasked to do can be better handled by the tribe itself with better oversight. As for that lawsuit against the city of Green Bay, the corporation is currently fighting a Brown County judge's in decision in January to dismiss it. Michelle?